Hi students, here there is an interesting question. The most stable conformation of 1, 2 difluoroethane and DL23 butane diol. So, here are the options, which one will be the answer? So, students, first we will draw the conformation of. 1,2 difluoroethane and DL23 butane diol. Then we will compare the relative stability of the conformation of the conformers and then we will get the most stable conformer. So we can represent 1,2 difluoroethane like this. in source projection formula and it can be converted to Newman it can be written like this we will get the conformers if we rotate the back carbon this is the back carbon and the dot is front carbon the circle is back carbon and the dot is front carbon so we will rotate the back carbon each time at 60 degree angle and we will get the conform conformations 60 degree angle in clockwise direction sorry in anti clockwise direction 60 degree of back carbon it will give this one will come here the front carbon will be same then again we will rotate the back carbon to 60 degree front carbon will remain same After that, we will again rotate the back carbon 60 degree in anti clockwise direction. Again, we will rotate the back carbon 60 degree. Then again, we will rotate 60 degree of back carbon. Now again if we rotate the back carbon 60 degree then we will get that confirmation. So here 6 confirmer results. This is called fully eclipsed. Fully eclipsed. This is called this is called staggered confirmation and it is partially staggered it is called also gauge staggered partially staggered or gauge staggered this is partially eclipsed partially eclipsed this is anti staggered
this is again got staggered sorry this is uh, partially anti staggered this is partially eclipsed this is got staggered again we will get uh, fully eclipsed so between these six confirmed mars we get three eclipsed three eclipsed and three staggered so if we compare the stability between the eclipsed and staggered confirmation then we can see here that in eclipsed confirmer the dihedral angle between the bonds are zero degree so there is a electronic electronic repulsion between this bond and so and also the hydrogens are the atoms bonded uh, here are close to each other so there will be a repulsive force between them so eclipsed confirmer has lesser stability than staggered confirmer so we will now compare between the staggered confirmers three staggered confirmer this one this one and this one here we can see in got staggered the fluorine fluorine are at 60 degree angle so there maybe uh, maybe here some static crowding are present here but in anti stagger the fluorine are opposite to each other so here no steady crowding are there and again in gauge these two gauge staggered are actually similar so we may since it seems that the anti staggered confirmer is higher stability uh, is more stable than this gauge staggered but in actual case the gauge staggered has higher stability than anti staggered because here the higher electronegativity of fluorine uh, starts some hyper conjugation and which stabilizes this gauge staggered the hyper conjugation can be represented like this here a double bond is there or here actually what happens this bonded electron gives between this carbon carbon bond and this bonded electron will be taken by fluorine so this will result and in this case this bond electron will given between these two carbon atom and this bond electron will be taken by fluorine and this will result so such type of hyper conjugation stabilizes stabilizes the gauge conformation we can be represented it like this H H F like this It is like normal conjugation. Sorry, normal hyper conjugation. So in this case, the gauge staggered has higher stability than anti staggered. Now we'll go to one two uh, two three butane diol DL. It is CH three. One 
which h h which this is dl 2 3 butane diol it is dl because it is not meso in case of meso the OH group will be in same side so the source projection for this will be like this and in human it can be represented like this Now we will draw the conformers in the same way as we uh, do for the previous case. We will rotate the back carbon each time anti clockwise at 60 degree angle and we will get the conformers. It is CS3 will be here which will be here which will be here again we will rotate the back carbon at 60 degree front carbon will be same as usual CS3 will be here which will be here here H Again, we will rotate 60 degree to anti clockwise. CS3 H OH CS3 here OH H. Then again 60 degree CS3 H OH. CS3 OH H now again we will rotate 60 degree sorry CS3 H OH CS3 OH H now between these six conformers this is fully eclipsed this is fully eclipsed this is got staggered this is partially eclipsed This is anti staggered. This is again partial eclipsed. This is got staggered. Now, as staggered confirmation has higher stability than eclipsed conformer so we will compare between these three staggered conformer this is uh, staggered this is staggered and this is staggered now between uh, here in this conformer we can see that the OH group are at 60 degree and that here hydrogen bonding can occur between these two OH group here one methyl methyl interaction is there as methyl group is uh, larger in size so some methyl methyl interaction will be static interaction will be here on the other hand in this anti staggered the OH will hydrogen bond because they are at 60 degree angle and the methyl group are in anti position so no methyl methyl interaction static interaction are here uh, uh, and in this 
God's Tiger. We can see that methyl methyl interaction is here, but OH OH are mutually anti, so they cannot form any hydrogen bonding interaction. So all comparing, so if we see all these interaction between these three conformers, we can tell that the anti staggered has higher stability than these two gauge staggered. So here the anti staggered has higher stability, and for this the eclipsed sorry gauge staggered has higher stability. So the option these two option in option number four it is a gauge staggered and this is anti staggered. So this will be our answer. So students if you have any doubt regarding this please let me know to get such interesting videos subscribe my channel thank you have a good day